When it comes to opening up these access objects, like your tables and queries and so on, when you open up one, like the books table, by default it opens it up in a window, that object, and up at the top of the window you get this tab. That way if you have more than one opened, like our books query, double click, to toggle back and forth between the windows just click on the corresponding tabs, like for the books table and then back to the books query. Now there are three different ways you can view your access objects, or three different windows to view them in. The default of course is the one that contains tabs up at the top, and the other two, or all three of them collectively, can be found backstage, clicking on the file tab, going down to options, selecting current database, and it's right there. Document window options, you got three. Overlapping windows, tab documents, and display document tabs which is in conjunction with tab documents, meaning that if I choose overlapping windows, well, you don't get that option to include tabs on the overlapping windows. So let's go ahead and go through all three of them. We covered the first one, the tab documents, with the display documents tab checked. Let's go to overlapping windows. And overlapping windows is the only setting that will allow you to position the open windows around and be able to resize it which if a company wants you to design their database with controlled access of the front end user with where, what, and how they see the windows, then this would be a good option. So for example, select an overlapping windows, click okie dokie. Oh, and then we got to refresh, so we have to close out of the database. Click okie dokie, close out, and then open it back up, which of course we can go ahead and open up the Access 2016 program, double click, and then come up here, it's the most recent here, the books, or better yet, in the future, let me close out, it'll be just quicker for me to come down here on the taskbar and right click on the Access 2016 shortcut to get the jump list. There's my recents there, and the most recents up at the top that I worked in, which is the books database, click on it. Cool, let's go ahead and open up one of these in the overlapping windows mode, double click on the books table, and there you go. You don't get the tab up at the top. But you do get a window that you can resize, and you can see the window options over to the right, the minimize, well, maximize in this case, and close, which you have for the entire program up at the top. So if I come down here, click on maximize, well, they're right next to each other, so, well, don't click on the outer X. That's going to close the whole program. But you can go ahead and click on the any X, and that will close out of the table here, or you can restore it down, or minimize it. And you can also hover over the borders until you can see arrows pointing in opposite directions, in which case you can go ahead and click and drag in or out, and then open up another one like a query, and ooh, we can resize that. Oh, it's so capricious. Let's go ahead and try to, well, there you go. And you can kind of like move them around. Oops, see, I'm clicking. That gets a little bit tricky. And so instead of doing it by hand, what you can do is up here on the Home tab in the Windows group, and this is only available in the overlapping windows view. You can click on switch windows and you can arrange your windows like if you want to tile them horizontally click on that and there you go you don't have to sit and fiddle with it automatically stacks one on top of the other. So I can compare between the two and work in one while watching the other or just not having to tab back and forth just go from one window to the next. And then if for some reason you do maximize one of them so you can't see the other well, you can go ahead and double click and just pull it back up, then double click the other one to pull that to the front, then double click that one to pull it to the front. Well, you can do it that way or come back up here to the window group on the home tab and click on switch windows and that's what it means. You can switch between the windows that are open and I've got two down below. Go to the books query, click and go back to the books table. You get the idea. Okay, so that's for overlapping windows. Let's take a look at tab documents by going backstage, file, Options, Current Database, and there we go. So we're going from overlapping windows that we just worked on to tab documents, except we're not going to display the document tabs because we've already seen that. That was the first thing we saw in the training video when we opened up our access objects. So let's uncheck it to see what it's like without it. Click okie dokie. Oh, okay. Got to send it to the powder room to take a refresher. So it can reset things. Let's click okie dokie and then close out of it completely. Let me go back down on the taskbar, right click on the program to get the jump list to books, the database again. And let's go ahead and double click on books. 
and looky there you don't get the resizing handles at all so you can't get anything that's overlapping so it rules out the overlapping window option for me to go ahead and well if I click on restore down it does the entire program restore down let me maximize it so you don't get that option so if I open up the books query double click it's overlapping the other and so you can go ahead and you know just go back to the books if you want to see that again and double click but it's already opened and so if you want to be able to switch back and forth between the two well in the tab documents you don't get on the home tab the windows group it was only available for overlapping windows so if you want to be able to get that switch feature so you can switch back and forth without having to double click to pull the query books back up to the front or any other windows that you have then you can add that command to the quick access toolbar so we want to come up here right click on the quick access toolbar to customize it change it from popular to all and then click and drag the scrolly bar all the way down to the S's and there you go switch windows let me select it and click add and well and added it right there with it selected let me click down a couple of times so it is the last command on the quick access toolbar that is over to the far right click OK and then come up here click on the switch windows and hey there we go I can just come up here and click on query the books query to go to that and then to go back to the books table you can do it whatever works best for you or you feel most comfortable with because you can just as readily go ahead and double click on one to pull it to the front as coming up here on the quick access toolbar with the switch windows command now of the three window options for me my favorite is the tab documents with the display of the tabs for the windows makes it easier for me to go ahead and click on them but if I was a database designer for a company that wanted control of what the front-end users can see maybe you've got some objects in here well you don't want them to see the navigation pane I'll show you in a later training video how you can hide that when you open up the database so you know the front-end user is not poking around in here but also how you can use code to customize the overlapping windows so when they open up maybe a form with a bunch of buttons that will take them to other windows you can say when they click on a button it'll open up like maybe the tables over here in the upper right hand corner about yay big so you can control where the placement is of the window and what size. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.